One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's going on guys? Uh, happy end of the weekend. Uh, I just wanted to make a new video for the week. So. I've gotten a lot of questions um, like recently. Like we, we got a, we got a lot of new members so constantly, right? And it's and it's great. Um, but we have a lot of members join. I think they get confused on where to start and all that. Even though, you know, in, when you join, you know, we, we basically direct everyone to the face study guide, uh, and then kind of go from there. But I want to tell you from my my personal experience what I think a good path is for you if you're joining, and you have sort of some basic knowledge of trading. You're not brand brand new. Um, I want to kind of talk about that, and then I want to talk about um, the cost of being early in this in this market, being too early. So, first off, I want to explain to everybody how this works. Um, so we have the video library. Um, it's so simple. You literally just search whatever you want. Like death line. This is what's going to pop up. If you are a lifetime member, you have access to the trader clinics. You type in trader clinic. Um, it's very simple, guys. You just use the search bar. Um, you know, you can pretty much type in anything and you're going to get videos on it. Um, you know, if I talk a lot about the 30% rule, you type in my name, that's going to pop up. You type in Tom's name, different videos will pop up, Harry's name for, for that. So um, so anyway, so basically what I want to start out by saying is that if, if you're someone who's, um, you know, been with us for a bit and you're still struggling a bit, I want you to try something because um, I've been doing it lately and I just have noticed how much I'm relearning um, as well. So. The very first thing I think everyone should do here, um, I think this is the, the way you should go. Like when you're, again, already been here a while, you've already watched videos, but you're still struggling, this is the, the path I think you should take. You start with the trading fish videos and you go to the first one, right? You start here and you just slowly make your way through, right? You make your way through um, because of two things. One, Every trading fish video covers pretty much every single question that you guys ask. It covers scaling, where to stop out, zombie times, uh, longing, um, you know, max sizes, first bounce. Um, Bao's videos, like I, what I like to say is like, Bao is like Jesus, right? And like we're all his disciples. So we are, a lot of our videos are just, they're just spinoffs of this. And sometimes reading the original is, or seeing the original movie is, is the best thing in the world because Bao is, has, is an incredible teacher. Um, you know, if you look at all of these lessons, um, they, it's everything's in here. How to scale, stopping out, you know, um, like it says, flow rotation, uh, view up reclaims, like everything that we teach are in these. Like this, this, this section alone is, is seriously, in my opinion, worth... Um, it, it's worth the cost of, of a lifetime membership. Like, I almost wish we didn't give these away for free because truthfully, I think everything in there, I mean, I got a question asking about halts and how to trade halts and, and look at here's Bao explaining it here. Uh, sell the new setup, low hanging fruits, fantasy. I mean, it's just, it's all here. So so start here first and foremost. And what I'm saying, like when I, when I say watch these videos, watch them and take notes. What I do to this day, um, I started doing this when I first joined MICs, I bought a notebook. Um, and I, every video I watch, I take notes and if there's something I don't understand, I star it and I'll either do more research on it or I'll reach out to someone and ask. And I think everyone should do that too. Watch the videos, put a star next to something, watch the next video. If there's no answer in there in the next few videos, then you can reach out to a mod and go on a trader call, um, or you can reach out in after hours or whatever. So from here, um, I think, you know, that is like the very most basic start to um, to like getting into the MIC process. It explains it to a T. I think then from there, since you're having trouble being profitable, if you are someone like that, uh, go to Tom's videos. I'm just trying to find. Um, let me see. I think it's uh, type in CPT. Let me see. I know it's under Tom. You are going to find the 
You guys are just gonna come with me. Just because there's a certain one I want you guys to watch, and I had it earlier. So you wanna watch these how to stop your account from bleeding out, consistent consistency. And where is it? He has a very specific um, few videos. See how many videos he makes for you guys? It's actually insane. Like, um, sorry, I want to find. Okay, here we go. How to become consistently profitable trader? He's got a few parts. I believe three, and you are going to go from there. Start one through three. Same thing, notes, everything. Um, all of Tom's videos, in my opinion, are very good. Um, I, I, always, I always make sure to watch them. Uh, he's my tab, he's someone I talk to every day, so I love watching his. Um, and all of his videos basically talk about how we trade the MIC process and how to kind of level up as well. After you finish Tom's videos, um, I, honest to God, these are the, I, I personally think aside from um, Bao's videos, the strategy webinar with Austin is insanely, insanely important. These are the ones, right, that I recommend watching every single Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Webinar. I mean, they are seriously gold. I mean, it's just insane. Like the the how to how to add size webinar, uh, the how to add to a winner webinar, um, stuff move, um, the the all of these videos. Right, if you're having a question about like if you're having trouble with FOMO, Austin has done done a webinar on it. So make sure to get through those. And I truthfully do believe if you kind of follow that path, and you really put the time in and watch these videos and like take notes and and really put your head down for a little bit. Um, I think you're gonna find some serious, serious progress. So this, this is not the basis of my video, but it's something I wanted to talk about. Now, so what did I wanna talk about today? In this market in 2020, uh, 2021, we are, see, we are in, I think it's a, a blessing and a curse because I think this is the best market I've ever seen for opportunity. I mean, the range and the volume is there. Like every day we're talking like, 100% gappers or even like 50, 60% gappers that, that just have volume and liquidity so you can size in and, and all that. You know, when I first started trading, we would pretty much every day, if we got like a 20, 30% gapper, it was like a good day. Now it's like every day, like I don't even look at things that are up 30. I don't think, look up thing, look at stocks that are up less than 50%. So it's, it's, it's shown how much vol, vol, uh, volume and volatility is coming to the market. So it's key. And to be honest, I think something that really matters right now is the ability f to rely on your patience for your entries. Um, I think exits right now, like obviously as important as exits are because you know that defines your profit as well. Um, but exits are one of those things that your exit can come pretty quick because of the range. But if you get a poor entry, you're dead and you're just dead. So something I wanted to talk about is this. I, I feel, I, cause I've gotten a lot of DMs from people who are struggling a bit and I think that everyone needs to look at this market and take a huge step back and say, what is the cost of me being early? And what is the cost of me like oversizing too early? What is the cost of me not using a hard stop? Um, and I think the cost is huge. Not only do you lose on a trade, but you then miss the opportunity when the actual trade presents itself, right? So every day we have stocks that, let's say they look like this. ENTX was a little different, but I just wanna use this chart as an example. So we have these broken charts pre-market, you know, let's just pretend. I'm gonna just do this. I wanna not have 9.30 yet, okay. So we had this broken chart all pre-market right with set lines to short we're under view app here i think everybody kind of saw this 
650, and I know me and Tom were talking about in chat, like this 650 area and seven, right? So in my opinion right now, if you're someone who physically can't wait for the trade, like I've gotten pretty good at like, I honest to God, like I don't really set fantasy orders too much anymore unless it's like a really, really broken stock that like no one's talking about. And that's just because of things like this. Um, you know, I just find like, I would much rather wait for my line um, and then uh, ad like f look from there. If I get signals that my line's working, I'll add. Um, and if I get signals it's gonna go higher, like I have a plan to either add higher or stop out. So, or I have a hard, cause I have a hard stop in every single trade. But I think it right now for, for new guys, you know, you need to rely on, on fantasy orders if you don't have the discipline. You need to rely on fantasy orders and put hard stops in immediately. Um, because I think people are finding that, you know, this first line, which, you know, maybe a few months ago was a great line to short, you know, it's it, almost every time lately, it's going to that next line. And sometimes it's just making its way back to the outer line. So I think people are over exaggerating like the first line, even if it slightly rejects it a little bit, and they don't leave size or prepare for the, the possibility that this could go higher, right? Like, um, so at the open on this, right? Like obviously it went even higher. The open on this, like look, it went from 560 to seven. It went a dollar 40 in a, a few seconds and it wasn't the hot chick. NLSP was really the hot chick at the time. I mean, it this just went. So if you had a hard stop in and you were scaling, like, let's say 30% size, you would have been okay because you would have gotten your first two bullets in there or your, your two bullets at 615, seven, 675, you know, you would have stopped out, um, but you would have been safe, which is fine. But the problem with this is right now, people are getting in too early and stopping out too late. And the reason for that is because of the volatility. You get in at your first couple lines, and then it rips on you and you don't have a hard stop and you freak. So by doing that, right, by not utilizing a hard stop and getting in just too early with too big a size, you're missing the potential move. So when by the time this move breaks and it's done, these are just things you have to adapt um, as a trader to and I hope this helps. All right. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.